this video explain how to create a one-point 3D classical transformation to convert SmartNet CSRS 2010 coordinate to the original NAD83. This video applies to SmartWorks Viva and SmartWorks Viva Lite. First, to be ready to compute your transformation, you want to be prepared. What you need to have in your data collector, it's uh, the coordinate of one point in your local system, and for the same point, you also need to have a WGS84 measurement coordinate for that same point. So, in my case, I created two jobs, one with my local point and one with my WGS84 measurement. So by going under job and data and choose working job, I have two jobs, one job with my local point and one job with my measurement on that point that I did using SmartNet. CSRS 2010. And also what's important, if I look at the property of that local point job, you want to make sure that the coordinate system attached to that job is the proper one. In my case, I have a UTM 17 North coordinate for that point in original NAT83. So you want to make sure you have the proper coordinate system, map projection, joint model. How will it store? At this point, you are ready to compute your transformation. So to compute the transformation, you have to go under Go to Work. And then under Survey Plus, you will find the application to determine a new coordinate system. The first thing you have to do is to select the proper method you want to use to compute your coordinate system. In our case, we will use a classic 3D method. Press OK. So at this point, the first thing you have to do is to give a name to your new coordinate system and a name that would make sense uh, that will help you to remember where to use that new coordinate system. An easy way to name your coordinate system is to give it the, uh, the ID, the point ID of the point you are using to compute your new coordinate system. In my case 96K1011 is the point that I want to use, my geodetic point that I want to use to compute my transformation. And I will also add to my coordinate system name NAT83. So by looking at the name of that coordinate system, I know I can use that coordinate system around that point, that geodetic point, and that coordinate system will give me original NAT83 coordinate. Second, you need to select your WGS84 job that contain your WGS84 coordinates and you need to select your job that contain your local NAT83 original coordinate. And since we want to only use one point to compute our transformation, make sure you check that option to use one point localization method. You can press OK. A transformation will be compute and it will use the same name as our coordinate system. For height mode, we suggest you to use ellipsoidal. We can press OK. Here you will see 
the information about your local coordinate system. So in my example, I'm using UTM17 North projection, ellipsoid GRS1980, and I have a GeoID model that I am using with that coordinate system. So just press OK to go to the next page. And you are now at the page where you need to match your common point. First of all, select your WGS84 point and select your local point in your local system. And for local height, since I know my geodetic point in three dimension, I have a Hothermetric height on it, on it. I will say yeah, select use local point height and I will press OK. You will see the result of your new coordinate system. You just have to press store. You will be back to the main menu and at this point you just computed a new coordinate system that will transform the SmartNet CSRS 2010 coordinate into original NAD 83, in my case UTM 17 North. For a more information please visit our website at www.smartnet.com and a dot com